You know, we say 你多大 to ask how old are you. But when it comes to real life scenarios, it's far from enough. So today, let's elevate your Chinese. Learn different ways to ask for age. Please subscribe on my channel for weekly free Chinese lessons. So, 你多大 is a most common way to ask for age. You how old? 你多大 You can use this to ask all people who are younger than you or around your age. I would like to let you know that it has some variations. We like to add 今年 this year, or the function word 了 which means already now. So the variations are. 你今年多大？你今年多大 ？And 你多大了？你多大了 ？Or、oh, we can add both. 你今年多大了？你今年多大了 ？Remember all these variations. How now for kids? We say 你几岁 ？You how many years? 你几岁 ？You know, 几 is to ask how many for numbers less than ten. So it's for kids. 你几岁 ？Again, it has variations. 你今年几岁？你今年几岁 ？Or 你几岁了？你几岁了 ？Or 你今年几岁了？你今年几岁了 ？Okay, now for old people to show more respect, we have to use 您 instead of 你 and we say 您多少岁了？您多少岁了 ？Or 您多大年纪了？年纪 is age. 您多大年纪了 ？Is more respectful. 您多大年纪了？ And for people who are older than seventy years old, it's better we ask. 您高寿，高寿 is a nice way to say longevity. 您高寿 or 您今年高寿，您今年高寿 Okay, now if you are in a job interview or some office, it's very possible you just heard people ask you 年龄 which means age. 年龄 means age, 年龄 and you just answer the number of your age. 年龄二十三，年龄二十三。I hope you are enjoying the lesson. If you want to make the study more fun, you can use our Chinese dictionaries with cute, captivating, expressive pictures. It helps the understanding and deepen the memory. Once you enjoy the process, nothing is difficult. The link of the dictionaries is down below in the description box. So we learned the direct ways to ask for age, but in real life, asking age still is、um, not a taboo, but as a sensitive topic. So you must know the indirect ways to ask for age. Attention, you can ask, 你是哪一年的？你是哪一年的？ It means what year were you born? 你是哪一年的 Then you calculate the age. So we have to work on our math a little too. 你是哪一年的你是哪一年的我是九四年的 I was born in the year nineteen ninety four. So you know this person is twenty nine this year. 你是哪一年的我是九四年的 And for people who were born after two thousand, like I was zero two year, the year two thousand two, or I was zero one year, the year two thousand ten. So remember, you are what year? Okay, now we have a more polite way. It's even nicer. You ask, "You are what year? You are what year?" It still means what year were you born, but literally it means what is your zodiac animal. So basically, in our culture, there are twelve animals take turns to represent each year. So the animal that represent the year you were born is your zodiac animal. So you ask the person, 你属什么的
what is your zodiac animal? And if you are familiar with the order of these 12 animals and you are good in math, you can get the age of this person fast. If not, you just check later. You check what year was that and you know the age. This is the most polite way because we don't mention any numbers. Just cute animals. 你属什么的? 我属狗的? 我属狗的? I was born in the year of dog. You know this person is in his 20s or 30s. So you check the list. Do you find he was born in the year 1994? So you calculate now he is 29. So that is the different ways to ask for age in Chinese. I hope you enjoyed the lesson and learned something useful. Any thoughts or questions or things that you want I teach in future videos, just leave me a message down below in the comment section. 好的,那谢谢你收看我的视频, thanks for watching, 我们下周再见, I will see you next week. 好的,下周见,再见!